In this installment, we will cover iSCSI disconnection and teardown, LUN and assign, iSCSI target destruction, and LUN destruction. iSCSI LUN teardown. If your work is completed and you need to disconnect or destroy your LUNs, there are a few steps you must follow to avoid data corruption, particularly if you plan to disconnect and store the LUNs. If you plan on destroying the LUN data entirely, you should still follow the first few steps that we're about to see next. Go to Computer Management, Disk Management. As before, right-click on the box to the right of the volume that you want to disconnect and then click Offline. The disk is offline. Note that the disk no longer shows in the computer's list of available disks. And as far as the computer disk manager is concerned, it is there, but offline. Let's quickly bring the other disk offline. Right-click on the box and select Offline. That disk is now offline also and it no longer shows in the computer's list of available disks either. If we were to bring them back online, the disks would immediately open in the same state that they were when we took them offline. Even if the disks are inactive, your computer will maintain a persistent connection to the iSCSI target until you disconnect it. Let's do that. Click on the Windows key and bring up the iSCSI initiator. With the target selected, click on Disconnect. This dialog box refers to the persistent connection to the iSCSI target on the ReadyNAS. Click on Yes. These actions will prevent the connection to the iSCSI target from establishing. To remove all persistent elements of the connection to the IP of the target, we must go to the Discovery tab and remove the entry that was automatically created when we first connected to the target. Click on Discovery, select the target, click on Remove, and then click on OK. And that's it. That eliminates all traces of the connection. Ice Cassilon unassign. You can unassign your LUNs to keep them safe from accidental access. It is somewhat like a virtual shelf where you can keep your volumes away from danger. This is very simple to do. To unassign a LUN, click on the LUN, select unassign, and click yes. You must not reformat these LUNs. If you reformat these LUNs, you will destroy all the data they contain. Only new LUNs need to be formatted. iSCSI Target Destruction If you destroy the iSCSI target with LUNs in it, don't worry, the LUNs will simply become unassigned. If the LUNs are under use when they become unassigned, it may cause data corruption that once you recreate the iSCSI connection, you will have to repair using a disk utility on the system where the LUN is mounted. It is important to bring the LUNs offline to avoid data loss. iSCSI LUN Destruction If you want to eliminate this data, and reclaim the space on the ReadyNAS, you can destroy the LUNs. This action cannot be undone. Click on the LUN, select Delete. This action requires you to type the word DESTROY in capital letters. This way there is less chance that you will accidentally erase your data. When done, click Destroy. Remember, this cannot be undone. On a later installment, we will create iSCSI targets with secure connections. Stay tuned. For more information on this and other topics, please visit community.netgear.com.